What's up guys, it's John here and we have a beast today. This is a $90 max. It's almost actually almost a hundred dollars. This is a professional mouse meant for business use and professionals. So I'm going to be taking a look at the Logitech MX Master for professional and it is a wireless mouse. Again, it's almost a hundred dollars, but it's a worth the money. It's a worth every single penny. Well, let's do an unboxing right now. First of all, before I even get into opening this up, let, let's let's do a feel test. Let's let's see how this feels to the hand. Whoa, whoa, I, I noticed something. So on the outside you have a smooth feel, but as you go into the center, it becomes tougher, tougher, tougher to move around. So this actually is a nice texture feel because it almost feels like you're holding the mouse before you even open the box. So that's that's pretty damn amazing that they included that little neat feature. So I really dig that. Now, let's flip this like a page and see what's in the front page. Oh, in the front page, you have the MX Master. Oh, look at that beauty. Now, on the left side, it gives you a little bit of information as to what the buttons do and some of the features, blah, blah, blah. We'll get to that in a second, but let's see if there's a, a field test in the, ooh, oh. Okay, so the outside again, just feels typical, but as you go in here, it's, the texture is different. So this this mouse, I assume it's gonna have lots of different texture feels in in the mouse. So let's let's open this up now. I already went beast mode on this and already opened up in the sides. So all we have to do now is just unbox it. Now the back, of course, you have a little bit more information. Unique thumb wheel, exclusive pearl lapels. That, that's a different language, but um, smart speed adapter score reel and uh, other things that I'm gonna tell you about this as I open this up. So going to the back, all right. Now let's face this down and just slide this out. Oh, okay, for the back, there's a few things that you see in the back. First of all, you have the cable. This is gonna recharge the mouse. You can have it plugged in if you want. Obviously, you, what would you want to do that? It's a, it's a wireless mouse and it has a, a strong battery. This can go up for days. But anyways, this is the rechargeable cable. Over here, you have an instruction manual. Nobody reads that, okay? The, if you're a beast like me, ye, guys, you, you don't need to read the instruction manuals. This, it's a mouse, come on. It's a lot of common sense here. Now, here is the mouse itself. Let's open the top. Ooh, look at that beast. Now, Field test. Let's take this out of the box. Oh, what is this sorcery? This, this is what I'm talking about, man. This mouse has a nice heft to it. I mean, the heft is just, it, it feels right in the hand. Like this isn't too heavy, it's not too light. You really feel like you're holding an expensive piece of equipment and all oh, the different feels that I'm getting out of this. Now, before I continue into the mouse, let, let's let's see what's in here. You got a dongle. <laughs> you still got, let's still make these. Uh, well, it, I mean, it's options. I mean, this most likely you're gonna do Bluetooth. You're gonna pair it that way, but just in case it's it's a problem or maybe you have too much interference from the computer, from the Wi-Fi, whatever it is, um, this is definitely gonna be useful uh, as an alternative option. But for the most part, Bluetooth should work right out of the box for for most people. Now, hmm. Take a look at that. Now, the first thing I notice is that I feel like I'm holding a Ferrari in my hand. I mean, just this, there's, th there's three different feels on the top. The first feel is the side feel. I mean, you can see the texture is nice and rough. It's almost like the like the, the seat of a, I, I'm not, not even the seat. It, it just feels like a Ferrari. It, it just feels high quality. And it's also a button. You can program this to be a button. So you can do something like this, right? You can hold it. And you can go up, left, right, down, and it will create an action. Even if you're a Mac user, it will create different gestures using this. Now, on the front over here has a nice rough feel. It's almost like like a I compare it to the leather seats of a car. But then once you go here, okay, this has a really really nice feel. Now, so this will be the uh, uh, luxury uh, steering wheel of a car. Now this will be the leather seats and this just will be everything else. It's nice and smooth and nice clicks. It has a nice clicking feel. That's good, all right, that's good. Now over here you have two things. One, 
you have a mode switch. If you want to go from one mode to the other, boom, 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 done. You, you, you go from one pro, from program one, program two. So you can customize through the software different uh, pr programs and different keys and how this kind of react to different uh, interactions. So this is definitely useful for that right off the spot. Now over here, the central wheel, if you go slowly, you can feel ta, 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 nice and responsive, but you can also just spin it and it will go free. Now, right now out of the box, it stops really quickly, but through the computer and the software, you can program it so that if you scroll this, it just keeps on going. It goes and goes and goes and goes and goes and goes and goes. And goes. So you can definitely do that. And on the side, you have some neat little things. You have a side wheel, all right? So if you're doing professional video editing, for example, you could be boom, 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 let me zoom in, let me stretch the timeline, boom, 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 boom. Like it, it, it's really useful for that. Now there's a back and forward keys, and this might be a problem if you have big hands. So if you have big fingers, it, it, it might be tough to tell the difference, but if you have small to medium sized fingers, honestly, this is fairly easy to, to, know, to know which is the back and the forward buttons. All right, so not too bad. Although, like I said, if you have big hands, this might be a problem. Now, over here is where you would charge it with the cable. All right, boom, boom, connect that, you know, plug it in, put it in the hole. And now you have a, a, a rechargeable. So in the back is where it gets interesting as well. So now, yep, my theory is confirmed. So the feel of this is certainly different from the rest of the mouse. Now, over here, I, I will kind of make this similar to this part, nice and smooth. But as you come here, it's a different feel than either this and that. So the steering wheel, the leather seats, the rest of the car, the rest of the car, I would say this is the glass. This is like a glass type of feel. It, it, it feels very smooth, very nice. But talking about glass, this mouse is supposed to work on nearly any surface. It, it works on glass very responsive on glass, wood, on your bed. It might even work on water. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised, but um, definitely very responsive in, in that sense. Now, MX Master over here on and off switch. You can connect it right there, start pairing it. Obviously, this is what gives you that strong reception, the signal, okay, where you can go on, 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 on the glass or any surface. And this right here, one, two, three. Now that is a quick uh, switch to different computers uh, or different devices. So number one, I compare it to device one, which most likely will be your default computer. Let's say I have my, my desktop, all right? My desktop, boom. But let's say I have a, a laptop as well. Well, if I wanna quickly switch to the laptop, I could program it so that number two connects to the laptop and number three can connect to something else like that. So you can program in three different program options. That's very nice. Very, makes this very snappy, very quick. Again, do you really need all these features in a mouse? Well, we're going to find out once I do the review video. But again, this is meant for professionals, for business use. Now, as a gaming mouse, this might be okay. I mean, I, I can certainly see this working as a gaming mouse. But then again, if you really just need a gaming mouse, there are better options out there for the same price or cheaper from the same company, from Logitech, but having more features uh, geared towards gaming. So... Uh, again, but if, if you're doing videography or doing some editing, Photoshop, or just business professional, you just want something nice, this might be the mouse for you. But we'll find out once I do the review video. So my overall impressions, feels very nice, feels very expensive, and it is very expensive. But this mouse, we're gonna find out if it's worth the 90 plus dollars that you're gonna be spending if you get this mouse. Uh, so we're gonna find out soon. I was so curious to see how scratch resistant this is and uh, I will see you guys in the next video Let me know what else you want me to unbox what other things you want me to review and I will certainly deliver. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace